know, because you never know what Eric's going to pull out the bag, bro. Like, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That ass nah. Edit this shit. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. What? You gonna put that damn phone and give me some respect. No, 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 I am. Get some shit. Relax, relax, relax. I'm he just, did the clap though. Have, yeah, and this is all I'm gonna do. I've been on my grind just to live it out. Yeah. Say what's on your mind just to hear it loud. That's about a good <laughs> You gonna give me some respect. Hold the you going to give me some respect. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we are back with another episode of the Dope Individuals Only Podcast. I'm Eric, the host, and I'm up here with another dope individual. Please introduce yourself. I'm the original dope individual. The original. <laughs> I'm Diana. Like, I'm the wife. <laughs> Mrs. Rodriguez here is in the building. And we are coming to you live from AFK Allentown, the one and only gaming studio, gaming shop in Allentown, man. If you've never been here, here make sure you get out here games for everybody everything you could think of my man josh got it for you so get a day pass come get you a beer come kick your feet up kick back play some games without being interrupted by your woman or your kids <laughs> it ain't me you ain't no, talking about saying. me you ain't talking about me because <laughs> No, no, no. You've gotten a lot better. A lot better. A I was about to better. say, I oh put my, my God. improvement. <laughs> I was, get my credit. There was definitely a time where, like, I would, like, feel bad because I'm playing video games. And, and then, like, you'd come downstairs and be like, are oh, you just not going to give me no attention? Stuff like that. So Yeah. There was definitely a time. <laughs> what is it about women in, in attention? Like, why, why do you guys feel like you always need attention? I don't get it. Don't, don't you guys, because I can't speak for everyone. It's a woman thing. Well, that's, on, that's a that problem. Me, Me? Is, <laughs> I am a very spoiled individual, so I need my attention. Individualized. But if you're spoiled, then that would mean that you get attention. And when I want more, I want more. You, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about something. I was in the shower last night, and I was like, Elizabeth, you were showering? No. Fuck <laughs> you, okay? <laughs> Elizabeth always likes to go, right? Elizabeth would be like, Dad, you know, do you want to do something with me? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to spend some time with your mom. And then Elizabeth goes, oh, you always spend time with mommy, right? What's the problem with you having a daughter. And then, and, then, and then I go with you like last night, right, where I was like, all right, I'm going to see you in a little bit. I'm going to go lay with Elizabeth for a little bit. She asked me. She's like, oh, there you go again, upstairs, sucker, <laughs> talking all your shit, right? So I was thinking to myself, I'm and, and then I'm I said, like, good night. Yeah, good night. I'm, back I'm not going to see you. And I almost fell asleep, too. You I didn't see? even go hold you. She laid on me, and I was like, it's over. Yo, it's it's, over. that's my baby. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the shower. Well, I'm standing in the shower. And everything. <laughs> I'm standing in the shower and bathing and shit. I'm thinking to myself, if they both think that the other person is getting more of my time, then wouldn't that mean that I'm doing a good job of giving you both my attention? Because you both think I give one or the other more attention than you guys. She feels like I give you more attention than I give her. And you feel like you got to battle with attention. Uh, Not with her. No, you don't think so? I never have a problem with that. No. My thing is, she... you like to talk shit about me with Isaiah. Oh, you So you when it comes to, fucking <laughs> So when it comes to that, I got to get you when I can. <laughs> <laughs> when you mentioned something Why, so, you could, so you could level the playing field? You, listen, see, how they, you see how they behave, Listen, man? when it comes to my relationship with Isaiah, you got to leave that alone. Your relationship with Elizabeth, though, everything. That's, that's you know daddy. What I, can she I tell you something? You like I, think, I think you're jealous. Of what? I think you're jealous. Of what? I think you're jealous of the you fact You keep saying I think you're jealous shit, I'm of getting what? to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you were going to, like, expound on, yeah, yeah, go you on. know. But I think you're jealous because you wanted that. What? But our daughter has that. Like, why can't you just Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. That is something that it's nowhere near jealousy. It's not jealousy. It, absolutely not. It is one of those things that when she seeks daddy and you pop up and do what you're supposed to do as dad for her, that shit, there's times where I catch myself about to cry. Because so, it's like, yo, that's So why, that I, is why exactly I gotta be a sucker? What you need to be given. Because you're still a sucker. Because even, <laughs> even when you say no, you be like, you know what? That's my baby. So hold up. Let me rethink that. Like, let me reconsider. That's so not it's, fair. It's, so there's nothing about jealousy. That's not I'm, fair because in it. my brain, right, I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to make sure that everybody gets enough of me. And like, when you be like, sucker. It sounds like a you problem. It, no, fuck that. You keep making it my <laughs> problem. And it's not a problem that I have. You make me feel like it's a problem that I have. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Listen. Your problem with Elizabeth, you got to figure that between y'all. I don't got For a problem. I got a problem with you. 
Why is it only me though? It's well, it's a problem with y'all. You know, we gotta do a podcast with her and me so we both could defend ourselves. It's some shit. Maybe <laughs> that might not be. I want to do a family podcast at some point because we got some great shit talkers that for would kids. Be, that would be interesting. Yeah, and like we could do like mom and dad versus the kids. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Why? <laughs> like let them get their shit off, but then, they're good. <laughs> yeah, but but we can let them get their shit off, and then we can let them know why like all that shit is stupid, like. <laughs> I guess <laughs> their reasoning their reasoning is not that great like it's like yesterday when JC I was trying to explain in the car why he was still acting the way he was and that, like yo his feelings was so hurt my man sound like I don't even he really so he really had to experience that losing I feel like it was they were such in that they were like in that winning streak for so long that now that they lost and he messed up, so he was part of the reason why, why they, they lost. lost. Yeah, that really, really affected. That him. really hurt. He, it took it took it. He but took it really hard. He also showed the biggest problem that us as humans, like that we have, which is there's a lot of times where you can't sit there and accept the responsibility. You got to find someone else to blame. Yeah. Until you can sit down and process where you really fucked up, and it's like seeing him as a nine year old do that, and they they go like. Through every go through feeling, the stage, yeah. It, it was it was just sad. Like it, it was like, damn, dude. <laughs> so just just letting you know, it's only gonna get worse. Yeah, it only <laughs> like, gets harder too. And that's what I be trying to get them to like understand is that like, bro, it's not the end of the world. Like these are very 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 small problems to have right now. Like like you just gotta learn to, to take that shit, eat that shit, and and then just. Uh, but keep that's looking where forward. you know that he's he is totally my kid. Yeah, that is my twin because it's like letting things go. That that alone is a challenge. What annoys me the most is how he wears the moods. That's my kid. That's that's what I don't <laughs> like because like we could be like we got home it was like an hour and a half later and he's still sitting on the couch like. Well, when he was sitting on the couch, I did this on purpose. He ended up taking a shower, coming downstairs, and then you he came took a in, shower. You can't. <laughs> yeah. He took a shower. That's that's why I asked. You you came you came downstairs and I mean you came inside and you were like uh, messing with him, but I purposely let him sit there mm -hmm. and sulk because he wanted one of us to acknowledge it and wanted one of us to be like. I can feel okay. that shit. And I'm looking at him. Literally, he sat down and he got the blanket. And I looked at him and I was just like. I can feel that shit it's when okay. he's when when like, he's when he's in his moods. He doesn't have to say anything. Like I can look at him and just feel his energy. Fall, I don't yeah. even want him around me. Like I love him. That's my boy. But like the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. You bringing me down right now. He's he's not with the vibes. I'm sorry, right? So so for a little <laughs> yeah. bit a little bit of context, oh, yeah. my son plays in NFL flag sixty league. Uh, play sixty league, and they're eight and zero as before their game yesterday. And the same team they played yesterday, they played two weeks ago. But that team was missing their quarterback. So they came out and they beat them 14 to 0. Well, yesterday they ended up losing 27 to 13. But my son stunk it up. And it wasn't just my son, it was his entire team. Like the entire team didn't show up to play yesterday. So, and that's what I was trying to get him to understand is like, it's a team effort. But that's the problem. Your dad, you know, and your love for football and his mistakes, the way it is. When you get on him, even if you're talking nice and calm, it's so I might still, just curse him out then. At the end of the day, I like no. no don't but then you, but out. then you can't tell me that I'm being hard. You are though. That's the problem. You are being hard. There's times where you are being very hard because he has a valid point where he be like, "You tell me to have fun, but every time I make a mistake, you want to get on me hard, 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 and be mean about it." But it's like, okay, dude, yes, we want you to have fun, but if you're gonna continue making a mistake, is it a mistake at that point? No, it's, you're when, literally choosing to do this. Yeah, when so, you come out and you do the same thing four times and on three separate you drives, care. you're not you're <laughs> not trying to learn from your mistakes. Right, and I explained that to him yesterday. Too. And I'm pissed off about it. I don't yes, want to see you but keep it's fucking sad up. And the disappointment and stuff like that, it hurts. It a little bit heavier. Man, listen, at least... Especially because of your love and passion for football, because I don't know how you... You are another type of species when it comes to that That's shit. a... Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I got a lot better. I got a lot better ever since I dropped the... Listen, for anybody who's never coached their children in any organized sport, it's one of the hardest things to do. You know this because of cheerleading. And whoa, 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 whoa. I know this also because of childcare having to be their damn teacher. That's, that's different. Or, sports is different. Sports is different than, like... Like education, like how we do the daycare stuff, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. No, of course, you're, you're just teaching kids to do certain things. 
But there's cohesion. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's cohesion in it. Like, it, in team sports, we all have to move as a unit. In school, everybody learns at their own pace. Right. Some people understand what we're teaching. Some people don't. And, and you got to find another way for them to yeah, learn it. But, but it's just like sports. You got them. You're teaching them one thing, but you also want to find a way that they can learn it. Best. I love how you're being devil's advocate right now, but some I was kids there to like, live Listen, it. Listen, this is how you got to learn. And then some kids are like, Listen, we're going to figure it out this way, okay? Yeah, but do you know how many times you came home when you were the cheerleading coach and you're like, yo, your fucking daughter was yo, horrible. I can't she coach cried her. all practice. She didn't want to do, she didn't want to do nothing but cartwheels or she sat down. It's like, hot. You, yeah, it's you understand. Hot. You don't got to like, deal with that. You signed up for this shit, not me. <laughs> exactly. But you also need her to understand, like, it's not only about her. Like, right. you, if, if, you're, if you're the flyer on the team or you're like the, the captain, like, you have to you, you know, have I'm to just carry yourself. With you, right? it just... No, fuck that. This is a discussion. Boop, boop, We're having a conversation. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you want to push buttons? I got oh, buttons. Don't, don't play with me. I got some buttons. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? Oh, Eric got some. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got some shit in here for you. Oh, you gonna try that? No, nah, I, I got a I got a serious question. So, are you? How do you feel in this moment um, about this upcoming weekend? I want to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> Um, I don't know, honestly. Because it's over. It's over. It's not over. As of now, it's over. This level is over. All right, provide some context for the people. They have no clue what the fuck we're talking about. So, uh, we are traveling to Indiana this weekend for my graduation. Ooh! Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. What are you graduating in? Uh, bachelor's in early childhood administration. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Congratulations. My kids out of this. <laughs> you said <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it, honestly. At one point, I was really excited mm -hmm. that I finally finished it, and not so much about walking across the stage. I feel like it's the same thing when I first got my associates, where it was like, blah, like, okay, I did it, whatever. But now it's one of those things where it's like, this has been my goal since before the kids, the bachelor's mark. Like, yeah, the, the child, like, this was a childhood goal of yours. Right. And. To see that I finally am able to be like, I got what I needed even after all these years. Like, I didn't need my bachelor's degree. If we're real about this, I didn't need it. But it's definitely one of those things where I felt I had to complete it. I started it. I can't just leave it like that. Now that I'm here, it's, I was excited and I'm trying not to let other people's feelings like get in my way. Ru ruin your joy. Yeah. Right. Um, but now I'm stuck on. We're how many days away? What, 24 hours before we start leaving and I uh, still don't have an outfit? A 10 hour fuck. <laughs> Wait, no, you just went shopping on Amazon. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm waiting to see if it gets here. Any what if I don't even like it? I don't know. I'm scared. That's the I'm one scared. problem with online shopping. Like, people love to buy shit, but I'm you gotta so buy scared. shit. You gotta buy shit in different sizes, different colors. Uh, multiple Buy options. the same outfit two or three times yeah. just to make sure you got that's, your That's the one thing online shopping will never have over just like going to hit a mall for a couple hours. Like you can't try shit on. Like you wouldn't imagine how many things like we fucking buy and she buys multiple of and then like it just falls through the crack and it, it never gets sent back because we Oh, but I still get my money back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, dude, you can't be telling people the sauce on, on oh, here. Okay. Yeah, Amazon gonna come and get you. <laughs> on Amazon. I didn't say it was on Amazon, but I, I said I still get my money back. So, but you're not, you're not like really, ex like, I don't understand because you, I watch you cry about these things in the house and stress and like. I think it's more because I already accomplished it. Like I did it. So the walking across the stage is just like a. That's a cherry on top. You know what I'm saying? And I already did it. The I think excitement for me, honestly, was waiting for my final grade. You were not happy when you got your final grade. Let's not talk about that. She she graduated with her for from her final class with an eighty eight. But it was she an was eighty nine. Eighty nine. And that's what pissed I'm me sorry. off. An eighty nine. She was not happy about it at all. And I'm like I'm trying to make myself like realize like, dude, the first five weeks of school, you fucking were, sucked. You were struggling. Like yeah. there was a lot going on, a lot to process. And when you finally did it, the last five weeks I aced that shit. So it's like, damn, bitch, like you really fucking got so, so are you happy about the 89 now? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you mad stubborn. It's not supposed to be my grade. It, it could have been a C. No, to seem that my grade dropped that low, like in the beginning of the semester and stuff, 
I was like, whoa. By, by the way you were boo-hooing in the house, it, you would have thought that that was your final grade. Yeah. It pissed me the fuck off. I'll be honest. I'm very hard on myself. Dealing with you in school, <laughs> dealing with you in school is like dealing with another child in the but house. But to think that I still want to go back for more. Yeah, I know. Listen, you're not allowed. I, I told you at least like wait till the winter semester starts or something. Like I need a break. For <laughs> for what? For like my masters or like for yeah, my so other curricular if, activities that I want to do. No, nah, if you want to like continue, because I know your goal at some point is to get a doctor degree. I'm not calling you Dr. Rodriguez. Not uh, excuse happening. me. At least once or twice. I, I, I earned it. Matter of fact, I'll call you it sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your mind go? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your mind go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I, but I, you know what is very commendable, uh, commendable about you? Despite how the first five weeks went, you know what I mean? All the tears and everything, you, you hit it hard the last five weeks, ultimately getting a, a string of A's and taking your, what was it, like a 75 or some shit like that at right the end of the there. five weeks and, and getting it all the way back up to almost an A. Honestly, I was a little shocked that you did not get an A on the semester. But, like, it's commendable because some people kind of chalk it up. Like, when they take a couple L's, a couple big ones, they're like, ah, oh, man, this shit ain't going to work. But you got this determination about you where it's like, I'm a, like, I don't like this, but I'm going to figure this the fuck out. My thing, y'all, I'm still mad about. Well, thank you, by the way. But I'm still <laughs> mad at the fact that the first weeks, like, the last class, for me, the capstone is supposed to be, like, the final, put everything you've learned It's like together. a high school senior project. Yes. Yeah. This was nothing like that. <laughs> this, that's, I feel like that's what really made this the stressful thing, you know what I'm saying? Like the stressful journey because what, it was like, what you thought it was going to be, it wasn't at all. Like, aren't I supposed to take what I learned and put it into all this? No, instead it was some weird. I don't even know how to explain it. It was just dumb. It didn't. It did not literally go over the things that I actually learned or the things that we were supposed to go do our on the floor. Did, hours. did it make it more complicated because of it wasn't what you were actually studying and, and learning? Yeah, yeah, it did because it was so focused on everything else that had, it had nothing Not to do with early childhood at all. Well, where does the, where does the determination come from? Because like I said, you could have, you could have just kind of been like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to fucking redo the class again. You know what I mean? But where, where did, where does that come from? I don't know. I've always been like that. You know that. I know I, that. The once, people don't know that. Once I start something, I'm going to finish it. I don't care if, I don't care what gets in my way. I got to finish it. Why? Because something, it, someone, it got started. Like, but, <laughs> but some people realize some way through, they'd be like, all right, I'm going to do this. And then, it's and then they'd, they'd be like, ah, away. fuck this shit. It's no, a waste of time. No, you signed up for it. Finish it. Finish it. And you're going to finish, and you're going to finish it with a good head on your shoulders. And, you're going to keep going. Because if you, if you start something and walk away from it, it's like, what are you going to actually ever accomplish? It's kind of like how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah, like, bro, you started it, push yourself through it, whether it's hard, whether you're going to cry, whatever feelings you're going to feel, finish that. And then in the end, you're going to be like, this isn't for me, but you finished it and you know it's not for you because you went through the entire thing. And you still hated that shit. And you hated it. But now you know. <laughs> Because what if, like, you finished it, and then the, la the ending of it, you realize, yo, it was not that hard. I got it. This is what I love. Yeah. Through that journey. Come on now. You get to, you I, get that, to learn something about yourself. It irks me. It's like a, I cannot. What, as far as, like, like people, so, when they start things that don't yeah, complete it? Yeah, and it, it bothers me. And it's like, I, you know, everyone do what you got to do. But it's, for me, it's like, bro, you started it. You can push yourself to finish it. Is that why you're so standoffish with people? What do you mean? Like, cause we, I, I know you, I know you, but like, like you have this, like this complex about you where it's like, I don't want to deal with people's shit. I don't like dealing with people's shit. As soon as I sit down, well, you know, but as soon as I sit down and I sense you're full of shit, I'm going <laughs> to say it and I'm going to move on. I absolutely love when we're in the house and we're talking and you'd be like, yo, she's fucking full of shit. Like the way you. <laughs> you're full of shit. That's it, period. It's one of the or funniest things. Or when, when someone sits there and looks at you and decides, I want to try to build this friendship, but then this friendship that you're trying to build is full of shit. And you're looking at them like, oh, really? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm I'm done. You don't think you don't think friends are important? A friend is a dollar in your pocket. I I know that's always been your philosophy. I don't get it though. I don't get how your friends are always a dollar in your pocket. Like, is that because whenever you go out with your friends, you spend money? It's a waste. Okay, it's a waste. Thanks a lot, loves. A waste of time. Anyway, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about we're that. We're not gonna talk about. We're that. not gonna talk about that. Okay, <laughs> no, fuck that. We're gonna talk about this. Hold on. So, like for me, I had a lot of experiences with friends and that title and the best friend, and it has always been very negative. I have had maybe one to three people that I can say are like I genuinely think that we had a good friendship going, and we just grew apart, which is fine. But overall, people are. And I mean, people, everybody, like very selfish creatures. And it's one of those things where for me, I'm just like, I'd rather not deal with it. I like, it's one of like, if you're interacting with someone and everything that comes out of their mouth is always me, 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 mm-hmm. I can't be around that. I can't. It's, it's, you have to be the, for me, a person that is willing to share your knowledge, share your love and grow versus I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then when someone comes to you for the help, it's like, well, I did it. So turn my head around. I, I don't rock with that. I can't. That phony shit. I can't. I just, I don't know. I can't even explain it, bro. Like, you, you look like you're getting frustrated right now. It, it's a, it's a pet peeve. I really cannot associate <laughs> with people that are just so, ugh. you know what I mean? You I, probably know what I mean, but it's hard to explain. I get it. I get it. But like, I don't think people are inherently selfish. But I do think that people have a tendency to live in their own worlds. And then people are assholes. People are assholes. Like nasty. But I like asshole people. See, but I can be an asshole. Because Stafa's an asshole. (laughs) But I fuck with Stafa because he's an asshole and he's funny. See, do you mean like he's an asshole because he's just straightforward or he's an asshole? I think that's what makes people, I think that's what makes people assholes. See, I don't think that, I don't think you're an asshole for that though. I think... It's the you're just delivery. Being straightforward and yeah, your ass yeah. just can't take the it's, truth. It's the delivery. Some people have Not. a people <laughs> some people have a very hard time. You're sensitive. Of, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. being a little crybaby. Stop being a weenie. Listen to the truth. Get up and keep it moving. Do you think that people um people like dance around shit too much? Yeah. And then sugarcoating it. No, why are we doing why are we sugar? You don't like what I just did, so tell me. I don't like what you just did. It bothered me. Can we figure out a way that even, we can move on? Even that's hard something? though, to tell people to tell somebody that you you hurt me. Because ultimately, that's what it is. Like, you made me feel a way. Well, or what you did made me feel a way. Right. And I'm hurt by it. Right. It's very hard for people to be like, yo, man, that shit bothered, bro. That shit hurt. Think about it. Cause, give yourself cause, a cause second, people, give yourself people are gonna a be second like, to feel it, which is fine. Uh-huh. You can give yourself that second to feel it. But we're going to address this. We're going to address Like, you know, like with me, if something's bothering me, I may not address it in that very moment, but we're going to talk about it. We're gonna. Whether your feelings are gonna be heard in the end or not. Are you talking about me personally? I'm talking about anybody. Oh, I was gonna say, that's up for debate. Sometimes I gotta fucking, like... See? <sighs> get your ass up. Yeah, I gotta reel you in just to get shit out of you sometimes. See, I don't wanna nitpick with your ass, though. What do you mean? With you and Jen, we're talking about you? I, You're I sensitive. Know. I am sensitive. Fuck so that. I gotta be very, like, careful with how I word things with you. Not you. You don't have to be, how, give me this, uh, hold on. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Go ahead. Expound. <laughs> You're sensitive. So it's like if something you did bothered me, uh-huh. and I know that it could possibly bother your ego or just you in general, like deep, uh-huh. I know that I can't just be like, Dot, 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 this is what happened. This is what's bothering me. No, 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 no. It's Eric we're talking about. You're not so that now direct. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and I'm just going to be like, no, no, I'm not that direct with you. And that's what I'm explaining. But you could be more direct. I cannot. That's a lie. I can't. Because if I am, it's going to turn into a bigger argument than it needs to be. Because for me, it's like one of those things. Well, I'm going to really share exactly argue. how I feel. Well, we don't because I'm not going to sit here and purposely. In, like, I'm a straightforward person, but I'm not going to sit here and intentionally hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can be straightforward, and if I know that it's going to be something that can actually hurt someone, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, you smell like shit. Like, no. Okay, so, you, so, know? You, do, like, so, you, so you do put a filter on sometimes. I wouldn't say a filter. It was just, you, I, I guess you could say it a filter, cause I'm, but I'm just going to say it respectfully. Okay. There's, you can Re- still be respectfully, straightforward. You smell like shit. No. Because <laughs> you're still being an asshole. How do you tell a person you smell like shit? 
He smells. He smells. He said you smell that. He said no, no, but that's because. <laughs> Of course they're not gonna smell it. No, you, you talk sit in to shit them. long enough, you stop smelling it. <laughs> That's how you gotta hit them with it. Be like, yo, man, did you know? <laughs> oh my god. No, you know what's funny? I, I think that I do a really good job of of being empathetic to what people got going on in their lives to break that. news. I don't have time for that. But, I don't have but time some for that. people it's think that I'm. It's not my job to care about what you're going through in your some, life. Some people think that I'm very, very blunt. I don't really think so. So you can be, and sometimes you really come off as an asshole. First of all, nobody wants to meet Eric as a boss. <laughs> if you were my boss, listen, I'm not even gonna go into that. I I want to <laughs> hear this one. I thought I was great. No, no, no I like it because. You keep these people, boop, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's balanced. one of those things where it's like, if you have a boss like Eric and he's your only boss, you literally might be shitting your pants when he's coming in the building. Like, oh shit, Eric's coming. I like to keep people on their toes. You know when like corporate is coming and you're working, you're like, <laughs> oh shit, no, not this corporate. Up. Put this up. Everybody sit up straight. <laughs> That's what er what happens when Eric's coming in. You know what it is. I want people that are going to care about my shit as much as I care yes, about my shit. and if you're here to do a job, then do your job. Then do it well, too. You right. know what I mean? Like, like, take a little bit of pride in what you're doing. No, you don't have to be here. But I also did not force you to come into work. Right. So don't you bullshit. You signed up for this. Don't bullshit on my time. Like, right. give 110% effort. I promise you, I'm going to notice when you fuck up, and I'm also going to notice when you're doing a great fucking job. See, you're that person. You have that balance. Yeah. You know? I think the problem with like corporate is they only they only come in and they look for things that are wrong. See, I don't think I don't I didn't mean corporate for you as if like you look for the problems. It's just one of those things where you're not afraid to address it. Oh no. I'm very direct when it comes when to work. That's what I'm saying. We're going back yeah. to you being blunt. That you are blunt. When it comes to talking to people, depending on the, the conversation, you can be like just because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You know what's so funny? And this is gonna come off as so self centered. And it is a little bit, I'll be honest. I love to talk to people about myself. I know you do. It, it, and it's not only... It's, <laughs> I, fuck you. <laughs> Listen, it's mainly because I have this image of myself and I have this thought of who I am and what I'm like. And when people do not agree with my image of what I am or who I am, it's, a, it's really shocking to me. It's really, really shocking to me because if I walk into a building, like I'm at the daycare, or whatever, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, why would you walk past the cart and you're going back to the kitchen? Take the cart with you. Don't you think that's a smart idea? If I say something like that, like I get like the smart idea part could be like, like, are you calling me stupid? But guess what? If you go down there and I watch you walk past it, when you come back down the hall, I'm going to make you walk back because you could have did this the first time. So don't you think it's a good idea just to kill two birds, one stone? So to me, it's not me necessarily being an asshole. To me, it's like I'm trying to help this person see that they're lacking in common sense right now. I'm doing you a favor. That's a lot of human beings. I'm doing you a favor. To me, that's how it feels. I'm doing you a favor. And like, but when you're like, people get like nervous when I walk into a building. But to I me, it's like, I don't get why. <laughs> because you tell them to do their job. Yeah. And you stay on them about them not doing their job. That's that's why. And then you have those other people in management where it also can be like more friendship and more fun that sometimes things slip through the cracks. So where where do you think you are? M I feel like I'm a little wise. bit of both. A little, you got a good mix. I feel like I'm a little <laughs> bit of both. I literally when managing with managerial stuff, I kind of. Oh, also, the customer is not always right. OK, listen, the so, customer's not always right. So with me, I think. I'm very, I'm learning how to be a boss that doesn't, that can say what needs to get done without being an asshole. Because that's something that I'm learning that I need to do. Because when something pisses me off, I kind of tend to be like, I got to give myself a minute. Because if I say what's on my mind right now, I might really hurt your feelings. And I'm learning how to do that. I'm finally able to voice it and things are changing. People don't like it. But it's okay. Um, Ask questions. 
<laughs> Don't you like that? Don't you like that? I'm, I'm not even asking <clears throat> questions. I'm at this point. I literally walk in, and if things aren't the way I want it, and you know they're supposed to be done, I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Exactly what I came to say is why that's not done. That's real bullshit. Like I need you to get this done. The other right part now. of it is is that for a long time I had to be that for right. Like, I was the, the other nice half one, of you. and you were the mean one. Yeah, and now it was like I, a balance. I had act. to learn how to do that on my own, carry both, and now I have a mix of both. I like being the cool boss, but I also learned that if you're the cool boss, people think that they, they can get away with things and take advantage of you. you. And it's one of those things where I've never been somebody you're going to take advantage of. And it's like, I got to remind myself that I can still be carry some of my personal person a, into my business side. Because as the business one, I was like, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want you to leave. I really like you as an employee. And all these extra little fears. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know what? If you don't want to be here, go. They'll f I'll find someone that wants to be Facts. here. Facts. I want to. I want to talk. Like now that we're talking about it, I want to um, talk to like the people that are in the process of trying to build something for themselves, like mainly like business wise. Because you and I, we learned a lot a over lot. the over the four years that we've yeah. been doing this. More than um, four. But four years as far as like having people that have other to, employees. Yeah, yeah, Got yeah. Okay. Where where we have to be also reliant on others right. to come in and do a good job. That is the hardest thing I had to yeah. learn to do. I think the the biggest the first thing we ever had to learn was that just because they come to work doesn't necessarily mean that they're good for your spot. Yeah. We that held was on tough. to we held on to people so much longer than we needed to. Yeah. All because of the fear of not finding a good fit yeah. after. But it was one of those things where it's like once that person was out, we were like, like you said, another door opened. The, yeah. Like, and it's really weird. Like, I don't, I don't mean to like get um, like religious or anything, but like really, it, it really does happen like that. Like one door closes and then another one opens. Like the one thing we were afraid we weren't going to find walked through the door. We didn't even have to go out and find them. Right. And it got to the point where now it's like, you don't you don't fit then you go yeah you it, go. yeah and it's it's one of those things where it's like you also have that relationship with them but at this point we don't even think about that we're just like you don't fit what we want to build and you're not like okay you come to work but what are you doing while you're here what are you doing yeah not working okay bye how are you growing how are you help, uh, contributing right. to the team and, and yo now <clears> you say <throat> how are you growing there's a little topic off topic but it's like People that have no motivation to grow. That's a big one. Unmotivated employees. We not even just a, it's just everybody in general. Like no motivation to grow. Some, like, somebody has do? somebody has to do the menial jobs. Somebody has to do the menial jobs. And I'd be trying to remember that too. Like I would love to think that everybody can come here and be successful, but, but somebody has to do the dirty work. That's fine. And I don't mean to say like grow like to be your own boss and stuff like that. That's not okay. what I mean. I'm just saying, like, to grow, to be more, to do more. Okay. In, to whatever extent. Grow as a, in a, in, to grow as, as a person. To grow for yourself, yeah. however, whatever extent <clears throat> that is for you. Mm -hmm. But then you have those that just, like, just sit there and they're it's, just, like, so miserable in what they're doing. And it's, like, so why aren't you changing that? I, we, we run into people like that all the time. I can't be friends with them. I, I don't want to talk to them either. I don't want to talk to them. Because if you're going to sit here and talk to me about how much you are miserable but doing nothing about it it's like so what are you what are you talking to me for the, the, I, the one i can that, help you let's do this yeah, if right. not if not then what are, what are we still talking what are, about yeah there, we have nothing to talk about what always throws me off is like you know me you call me positive paul every once in a while like you call I, yourself <clears> positive paul you do it i haven't called i don't call myself positive paul when I was like overly positive about everything. Yo, every day, every <laughs> single day, literally for a long time, he would come in, positive Paul's coming out. <laughs> or like if he see me down, he'd be like, do you need positive Paul? And She's I'd a be negative, like, oh she used to be God. a negative Nancy. So positive Paul had to step I into the building. I am a very negative individual. And I, I blame that on I would, my entire life. I wouldn't say I very up. negative, but you do have like, you allow yourself to spiral. I think I that's that's what it is. You allow I yourself do. to spiral. And sometimes like I got to reel you back in like, yo, this is just like what's going on right here right now doesn't determine anything that's else. That's anxiety for y'all. <clears throat> like we like the other day, I'm actually very shocked the way you handled it the other day when we got the the email from Nikki. Okay. And we got some disappointing news the other day. Her and I have been trying to um to grow 
and we got some disappointing news the other day, and it was right before she went to bed that you opened up the email. And yo, and I never <laughs> check my emails, at especially night. at night. Yeah, and because you just never know. You just never I know. Decided, what you're yeah, let me just clean my mailbox. For what, bro? For what? I was pissed. And you know, it's funny. Like you were you in that moment. You were you were very upset. And I tried to be like, I tried to be the person in that moment where it was like, all right, come on, next, like, let's just find alternatives and things like that. But I was fucking devastated. I know. I know. And that shit hurt my soul. Because it's like, why can't you just sit here and let yourself feel exactly what I'm feeling? Because I know you're feeling it. You know what it is? I feel like there's no room. Like, if, if, if you're already devastated, I know you're devastated. You know, I'm trying to help you work through it. If I bring my shit into this, we're going to be a wreck. But sometimes, I feel, sometimes it's okay to be a wreck together. We just got to know how to get back up together. Because if you're always, if we're going through the same exact thing, and I'm devastated, and you're also devastated, but you're sitting here to pretend to be strong just so we both don't sink a little bit, it's like, when are you ever going to let yourself feel? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that give you like a lack in like a sense of security though? No, you're fucking human. And we're going through something that is bringing us down just Since for when now. does that matter? You know how much... You're telling the wrong one, because I be telling you all the time to feel. Listen, my, <laughs> listen, my life consists... I'm a fucking circus act. I'm like... So juggling, am I. Juggling, juggling, fucking using my head and my other ball. So am I. <laughs> but it's part of life. I know, but... And when... You still didn't answer the question. Okay, what, I forget what the question was. When are you supposed to feel? If you're always sitting there, and we're going through the same thing in the moment, and you're always sitting there trying to be the positive person, when do you allow yourself to feel? When I'm alone. Bullshit. That's the only time like, I pretty much do it. Bullshit. Why do you say that? Because now you're over here trying to, in that see moment... Could, see the bullshit? <laughs> it's hilarious. You're trying to sit there and balance everything that you've been putting off in that moment while you're alone? You're trying to balance all of that and trying to allow yourself to feel all of that while also trying to do something that makes you feel good in that moment. Bullshit. You want to? No. Okay, I'll give you the truth. I'll give you the truth. I do spend when I'm alone, like in those moments, like where I'm journaling or stretching, shit, even showering. I do a lot of like really introspective things. I don't know how, his, how his phone is still intact. Why? <laughs> we had to get a new one, remember? I had to get the fucking piece oh, yeah. replaced. I used to take my, I used to, my, listen, <laughs> he they, say, lesson, I'm guessing. they say these things are water resistant. Okay. My phone has only fallen in the water one time and it was in the shower. So, and I picked it up immediately. These things are not water resistant. Don't fucking believe these people. These shits are not built to even like be close to a shower. So and there your shit we go. was just steam. It was just, yeah. Right. Like, um, I forget where, where I was going. Oh, so yeah, I do a lot, a lot of like my introspective thinking, and, and shit when I'm like in the shower. But there is plenty of times where like I'll go downstairs, I'll turn on the game, I'll take a beer, um, I, you know, I might have the weed pen and I'm just tuning everything the fuck out because life does get heavy. Yo, silence, right? What about silence? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Oh my Yo, God, si <laughs> silence. Because you don't like silence. Oh no, that's a lie. No, no, that no, 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 no. That week that I spent home, and I'm telling you, just spent home, and it was silent. Not even the dogs were a problem. Like, it was just quiet. He just got jinx and his loud-ass purring. No, not even. It was, <laughs> when I tell you, that was the most peaceful peace that I've ever experienced. You actually so like being long. home, right? You realize no, you no, no, like no, being no. home. No, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. She I don't like, like being home. I don't like being home all the time. And that's I a, don't. And I think it's, honestly, it's about to get real. I honestly about, think it's that about it to has go down. a lot to do with Working all day, okay. Having to come home, and, and work continues because you're here. You're expected to do laundry, to clean, to mother. I said you're expected to. Oh. I didn't say you make it a big deal. I didn't. It say was that about you to get real in this shit. Is, I had to stop him. But you're expected <laughs> as a female, as the, um, as the wife is like all these expectations, expectations of you to be a mom, to now clean, to cook, to do laundry, to and then if you're in school to do your homework to help with homework, to help with the animals, all these large expectations, stop. Um, all these large expectations, because just because you do not push for them to get done all the time or get on, hold on, or get on your partner about it all getting done, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't like that from your partner. 
Agreed. It doesn't mean that, right? Yeah. So I'm not here saying everything I'm saying because you get on me. Not at all. Um, but I am saying it because it is still something that I get on myself about, where it's like I, I want to be able to have that energy to come home, to do all these things. And you got to drink your mushroom coffee. Fuck no. <laughs> um, you're, all these expectations that are expressed and does at some point become a problem because they're not getting all, done all the time. Yeah. But then in my mind, it's like, bro, I'm here running a fucking business. I'm making sure everybody survived. I'm fucking going to school, making sure I do better for myself. And I'm also expected to come home and do this, 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 and this. It's exhausting. So leaving work to come home, sometimes you don't want to be home. Because now you're going to walk through that door. Here's a pile of fucking clothes that you got to do. Here's kids ripping their heads apart. And then there's dogs that are barking because they got to go <laughs> it's, outside. It's like, it's like boom, boom, it's boom, like boom. I'm like, you know what? I don't real life is waiting on the other side of that keyhole. Right. And then you just, you just, like for me, it's like I just sit in my office and I'm just like, I think I'll stay here an extra hour. <laughs> and then the silence in my office. It's just a mess. That's, that's the loudness is the mess. But the silence. Yeah. It's just being alone in my office for that extra hour before going home. So I have a question for you then. All right. I heard everything you said. I agree. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna interject to like basically be like, oh, but this is in that. I wasn't gonna do that. What I was gonna do was say, Do you wanna play who has it harder? But no, I don't. But I don't because it doesn't I matter. don't we, think it's I don't both think, hard. Yeah, I don't it's, think it's, either it's, one of us have something harder than the other. Like I feel like we both go through a lot of balancing trying to figure things out trying to be able to still grow and learn each other because although we've been together since we were fucking kids there's so much shit to learn that, that this changes. man has gone through three four different types of personality changes and human changes that it just it, sometimes you don't even know who the fuck he is anymore um I but look, i'm a layered human being mr perfect in everyone's eyes it's still a thing. I am not. Reason. I am not perfect. That shit irks my soul. It irks my soul that people <laughs> think that Eric is fucking perfect. And I say this because we've been told this shit before, and we look at each other and we're just like, no, no, the fuck y'all didn't just say that. And it irks his soul because it's like he knows he's not perfect, but yo, it's a, it's it, a pre it's a pressure that like. I have to I have to try to uphold in some aspects. It's frustrating. And it's and it's and it's draining. It's, it's frustrating because it's it's, it's one of those things where it's like, bro, you're human. Yeah. You are human. Why is it that you're held to this standard of Mr. Perfect? And it's like, okay. And then yo, he does no wrong. He does no wrong in people's eyes. He's Can, I'll be I'll be honest with you. It irks my it's, soul. It's not it's not that I don't do anything wrong. You know what it is though? There's I have so much like internal conflictions from time to time. A lot of the time I'll say because just as I want certain things for myself, I'm also trying to uphold all those expectations and job duties that I signed up for. And it gets complicated to be able to show up for you or whoever else, the kids, um, and play that role and be that person and then also still not shortchange myself. And in many aspects, um, I do end up having to shortchange myself and, and give more of myself to other people um, to ensure that I'm, I'm living up to my role. And, and I would say probably that's why people have this idea of me and the way that I and, and the way that I am, because I do a damn good job of making sure that I'm not leaving people out there to dry. The one person that is being left out there to dry is Eric in many cases. And and then I And then guess who gets that shitty end of that stick? You do sometimes. You Bullshit. do sometimes. <laughs> but but I also leave myself out there to dry for you. So even in that aspect, yeah, you probably deal with it more than other people, but you're still you're still getting to uh, reap some of what I sowed in that aspect, and I'm learning and I'm learning now. Like and I've been learning ever since that day we down in Tampa, from that moment we had that conversation in that car. I have been making um, strides to be a different version of myself to where I'm just not giving and giving and giving, Eric and I'm also just saving no. a, uh, saving a little bit for me, because it, it is problematic. You know what I mean? I, you know what? I, I can point back to one day 
when I the first major change happened. Do you? And it was it was an argument between you and I. Do you do you know what I'm referring to? It was a big one. I feel like there's two that come to head to mind, and we were. I think they were both out of Pennsylvania. No, we were in Pennsylvania. For the one? Yeah, for the one that that was, was like. Was it in October? I don't know. I think it was the October one. Every October. <laughs> every October. Every fucking October. OVO is very me old. Me and Eric are going through something. Every October and every December. What phase is the moon in? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's literally since we've been together. It's you know what it is. December December is very understandable. There's a lot going on in December, and you always end but up. But since we were 16, every we year, probably had two good Decembers in nearly 13 years. That's crazy. That's crazy. No three. And then three because the one you were pregnant. And then yeah, and then October's for some reason. I What's in October why. though? Yo. I feel like it's taken a turn because it's October. I feel like it's been like a more recent type of thing within the last few few years. Um, I don't know. It's always this, a this big past fight. October was rough, and the one before that, mm-hmm. we kind of go through mad different shit. It always it always bothers me, right, with you because it's like, in many cases, in my mind, you stayed the same in a lot of ways, and for me, there has been a whole lot of changes. Yeah. And then you expect the same from me. Because, like, for me, it's like, how do you, how do you continue to remain the same person? Because, because if, if I'm growing, but you're still here, and I'm still, like, elevating in my, in my persona, there's always going to be confliction between you and I because you're not growing in whatever ways you need to. And you're growing in ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a, a college degree coming up this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Um, so... I'm still growing. You're growing. Just not in the way that you would expect someone to Personality be wise, there hasn't been a lot of change. I think I think I'm a cold blooded no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say relationship wise, there's been a lot of change. Like you don't bitch as much. I was about to say but, I but I, your passive growth. aggressive has you've gotten better with your passive aggressive. Like this morning you were passive passive aggressive. Like with the Instagram. That was nah, passive. fuck that. That was passive. I had aggressive. a problem with this shit. So I'm here on social media, and I'm like, we're on a it's phone. It's Stafa's fault. No, no, no. We're on a fucking phone call, and it comes up as people you may know, Eric the fucking host. I said, excuse the fuck out of me. Why the fuck did I get a fucking follow? Like a personal, like, hey, babe, look. No, I had to find out as if I was some bitch on the side. I was like, oh, hell no. It ain't that deep. <laughs> and, then, and then I look. And then I look, and I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm not promote. I'm, I'm a direct contact. Fellas, let this be a lesson. I'm a direct contact. You make fucking- a new Instagram, it doesn't matter what it's for. Go follow your woman first. Period. You better put that. Period. You better listen to Jaheem and put that woman first. Period. It's one of those, yo, that shit, it irked me. Because then I go down the followers. He's already following people. Bitches following him back and forth. What? I'm, what bitches? I'm stretching it. I'm you stretching, stretching it. But <laughs> you got. in go mode. <laughs> but it's one of those things like you got followers and he's following people. So it's like, hi, hello. I'd like to follow. I'd like to support the page. Why didn't I get told that this was happening? You know what I mean? That bothered me. The only people. I, I like to, again, it goes back to the spoiled child where it's like, hey, babe, look what I did. Yeah, show me. I want to see. You see, you know I want to go click. You know what annoyed but me? But I didn't say anything to you. All I said was like, you made a new Instagram? No, 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 no. Okay. You don't got to say anything. You, look, you did this. You was like. Because I was like. Like, what the fuck is this? We were, yo, it's funny because I did it while we were in the middle of a phone in the middle call. Of a so phone I couldn't call. even say the I'm words. Si- I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, really? Are you fucking, are you serious? Like, I couldn't even get words out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was literally like just, I'm one of those people where it's like, I've always been Eric's number one supporter. Always. And yes, you can't, yes, like, you have. I've always been the number one supporter. So it's one of those things where it's like, bro, like, you ain't sure that you just did this. Like, I would have been like, click. But share, you know I was add, trying to do, do that. But I didn't know you did it. But that's because I like I just did it because he fucking yelled at me on the phone the other day. You heard him. I heard the conversation. Exactly. He said, "Bro, you're fucking up the algorithm." He said, Period. "You should yes. just make another page." Yes. And then for weeks, for and then, weeks, yes, and then we separated your account. Bam, for weeks, boom, I was telling done. you, right? Right. Exactly. But so, nope. so then I don't want to hear. I don't want to see this. But you made a new one. Come on. I deserve the follow. 
See, this is my my life is stressful. Or not even like you didn't even have to be like, let me go follow her first. No, you could have been like, babe, look, I made this. If I made was, a new page. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Put me into the new plan. Something, but nah, I didn't even get an invitation. Yeah, Yo, you killing me. I didn't me, even dog. get a conversation. Like, I didn't even know Eric the host was gonna make one. I was like, damn. I have to make one. I cause cause it it I understand his point. Like, I, I no, put poetry I, I up there, it. music. I, I do understand why. You got to make one. It's going to mess up all the extra Can shit. Can I tell you I something? get it. No, nah, matter of fact, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to use you as an example, and I'm going to talk to the people. You ready? <sighs> Women, do not do that to your man. It's annoying, and it's a waste of time. Oh, I don't Men, care. Hold on. <laughs> Men do not give a fuck about social media the way y'all do. Like, it doesn't change anything for us. If we don't post y'all, it's not that we don't love y'all. It's just we don't really care about whether you can't whether say people... that about all men. You cannot, because there are men out there that be like, baby, I'm going to keep you it's a secret because this is private, because I don't want the world to know. And in reality, that's not really what he's I doing. Stopped, I stopped <laughs> caring about that shit when MySpace got rid of top tens. <laughs> it's like, that was, that was the last time I really cared about, like, highlighting people. Like, yeah. unless we're doing something specific, like the podcast, and, like, and I'm letting people know who's on the podcast. Like, I don't really care about none of that shit. That's not true, because randomly we'll do it to each other. Where we'll be like, when was the last time you posted me? That's because you want to do that. You want to play. See how you play. When was the last time? When was the last time? And you you know what's funny? You you went on the other day. You were like, oh, the last time you posted me was January, and it was April. Okay. It was it was for the for the eclipse, and you were like, oh, that doesn't count. It doesn't because I I don't want to hear that in the video. Mm hmm. Yep. She was right next to me because we were looking at the eclipse. I put myself in the video. She made a cameo. Thank you. Whose side are you on? Bro, y'all can go see it on my private, like, only if you got, like, my private page. <laughs> Nine see, minutes. <laughs> social media is, like... It's funny. I had all your questions, but this has been such a cool-ass fucking conversation. I, um, Let me see. What's one? You want to see? Hurry up. We got... Here. Go ahead. Yeah, you... Nine yeah, go ahead. All right, here. Give me. We're going we're gonna to do this. All right. Um, <laughs> the, I only asked you one. I only asked you one question off the list, which was about the determination. That's good. Um, so, biggest question that you've learned from being a mom. Biggest question. I mean, biggest lesson you've learned from being a mom. I learned so many things as like from being a mom. Um, you had to sum it up, like. If somebody was like, oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a mom to be for the first be time. Do you have any, like, advice? Be patient. Patience. Patience. I know it's corny, and I know that is a cliche and shit, but literally patience. Because I can be very impatient. But patience, because the amount of personalities that you're going to be going through, is, it's crucial. And try to understand. Try to, un- try to put yourself in their shoes and try to understand why they're feeling the way they're feeling. Versus, like... Mind you, this is still a learning in progress for all of us, but it is one of those things where it's like, sometimes you got to really look at it and it's like, they're having this big meltdown. And for you, it's like, bro, chill. Why are you feeling like that right now? Just a bag of chips. Right. (laughs) But then if you put yourself in their shoes, it's like, is it really just a bag of chips? Like, what is it that they're really feeling? You say no to me for everything. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's definitely it for me. I, I like how you said, like, try to put yourself in those shoes. I think the biggest thing as parents that we could, um, give is like remember the fact that we were once five or nine right or three you know what i'm saying we weren't like, always we weren't always 28 years old 29 right. years and old you know what's another thing that i actually seen on social media is we look at our kids and remember how we were and we're like why are they acting like this at this age and you're like childish aspects you know mm-hmm. but it's like it's because they're at that age where they're still safe and they can be that age and act that age. Meanwhile, when you were six or seven, I was fucked up at six or seven years old. Agreed. So I had to grow the fuck up. Facts. I didn't know what it was to be a child, basically. So, so that so, sense of security we provide for them is something that we never we, had. We so for us, it's yeah. like, why are you acting like this? But it's like two different worlds. They get to act like that because this is how you were supposed to be acting yeah, at this age. Like a fucking child. Like a fucking child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was the realest shit I seen. Because it really made me look at our kids and be like, oh, you really are acting like your age. Like, yeah. this, this makes sense. You know? I'll let you slide. And then seeing all the different levels, because being in childcare, you get to see the kids from different families, different households, everything 
that is going through everybody everything that they're going through you could tell the different personalities and who gets to be a child versus who has to be the parent in the house yeah out of those kids which is crazy yeah sometimes like when you're the oldest you are kind of like a second parent which is unfortunate but it sucks it's 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 the way we do things here in america it's crazy, we do it as far as us like we do try to try our best to, like especially like our oldest but we let him know like bro be a kid we're here we are here right now. You do not have to go parent your siblings. We are here. Yeah. Go be a kid. But when we're in the vicinity, you can, you're right. off the clock. And then we explain to him, like, when we're not here, then I understand why you're trying to tell your brother or sister, you can't do this because it's not safe. You can't do this because it's not smart. Whatever the reason it is. But to just sit there and do it when we're in the building, it's like, we hear him yelling, stop doing that. That's not safe. I'm like, yeah, oh, we're right out. here. We're right here, bro. Just we're tell like... us. But then he'd be like, I don't want to tell on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell on them. <laughs> like, okay. Next question. Uh, natural birth or... Natural. Uh, damn. <laughs> or traditional birth. Traditionally, like, when I say traditional, you most of the this, women... This era with This the, era with of the... traditional birthing where, like, they're getting epidurals or C-sections. Natural. You know what I'm saying? Natural. Like, go bad, this go is no, no epidural. No epidural, no medication. Raw. If they come with the needle to your arm, you say, fuck no, don't touch me. Why? Yo, it is, yeah, it's the scariest, but the most, like, can't even explain it. Like, it's like, it's the best feeling in the world. It really is. I did it both ways. And for me, I definitely say, take the experience, take the pain, breathe through it. It's natural. Everybody before medicine was doing it. You will be okay. Fight through it. And just fucking breathe. Literally, giving birth is breathing. Life is breathing, which is crazy. Like yeah, It's crazy. It really is. But <laughs> as long as you're through your nine months, ten months pregnancy, whatever you want to call it, through that entire time, as long as you're practicing your breathing, it will be okay. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. Um, I got an opportunity to watch firsthand up close, like the preparation that went into natural birthing. Don't just think you're gonna show up at the hospital never having prepared Practice for this moment prepared. and think you're gonna give a birth a birth to a baby naturally. But Prepare, we got medicine balls time. in the house, the breathing exercises. I was behind her, holding her stomach up to relieve, Listen, you know, weight and things like that. Like that's this is I'm dead serious. I want to go into getting my certification for doula ship. This was literally doing it for myself and educating myself was the best thing I ever did. And I cannot wait to get into that chapter of my life where I can help women practice breathing and practice getting through this. Like it's it's the most beautiful experience in the world. It was amazing, even though I was my own doula, <laughs> and YouTube 101 <laughs> got YouTube. me through it. I even sent videos to Eric through that pregnancy and got him to watch some and learn some. And I, yo, I feel like that was the best experience in the world. It was, it was definitely cool from from my perspective of um, watching you go through the entire nine, ten months, and then being there, you know, to watch Isaiah come out. It was such a fucking fast process. It was faster than any child we had. Up until Isaiah came. So, yeah, man. One push, that motherfucker flew out. <laughs> That's it. Um, next question. Go natural. Two minutes. All right. Um, all right. We got to make these quick. Why is the future such a big concern of yours? I typically worry about the past. You typically have an anxiety because the future. Why is it such a big concern? It's the unknown. It's the unknown. That's why. You know, the past is the past. I already went through it. We lived through it. We're surviving it already. Like, it's move on yeah. now the future is coming you don't know what's coming you don't know what choice you're gonna make that's gonna send you in what direction it's the unknown i gotta I, my control personality i gotta know <laughs> so what do, what do you envision uh for your future and why i don't know that one yet it's a tough one huh i don't like for my future i just see growth and happiness just and health i don't know like i don't have particular things okay how, how is money important? I Yo, mean, how important is money? It's very important. <laughs> I'm a very money-driven person. Like, I love money. She's a hustler. I love money. I will not sleep if it means getting my money. I'm glad I have you in my life because I don't give a fuck about money. Yo, I love money, and I'm going to go get it. If you tell me, oh, I need you here, here, and here, you're going to get this much. All right, let's go. What's up? What are we doing? You want to build this? All right, let's go. How much am I getting? We're going to talk business because yeah. I got bills to pay, too. So what's up? You uh, get paid. I'm 
Break me off a piece. A little bit. Yeah, I don't care if it's a dollar. Piece. I don't care how much. Just Hold on, I got something for you. See? Grateful. <laughs> I got a quarter. <laughs> See, this quarter is going to take my kid to the gumball yeah, machine. Man. No, 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 no. I want my quarterback. <laughs> now you paid up. <laughs> how does someone who doesn't consider themselves a go-getter change their mindset to become one? Just do it. You heard it here first. Nike, cut her a check. Just fucking do it. Like, you want something, get up and do it. Fuck the fear. Do it. I love that saying. I think about, like, when I'm trying to do something hard in the house, even if, like, it's something that I've done before. Like, one of the things I like to do after taking really hot showers is the, is the cold water for the last 30 seconds to a minute. And there's some times where I'm having conversations with myself, and I'm like, yeah, but if you don't do it today, when are you going to do it? It's right. Like, so I hear, that, I hear this one rock quote. He's like, one day or day one. And a lot of the time, like, that is the one thing for me personally that gets me to either make that decision, like, I'm going to do it now, or fuck it, I'm just going to Yeah, be just do it. Even if it, means, even if it means starting with writing down exactly what you want out of what you want to build. Like, write everything down. Be being intentional. As long as you write everything down, now you're reading it. Now read it to yourself out loud. And guess what? That shit's going to fucking happen because you're going to be like... If I could write this, I'm reading this shit. This shit is real. You want a million dollars? So go fucking find a way to get yourself a million dollars. The fear of success is real. I've, I've felt like I've been afraid to, see, to be successful. Because it's the same thing like where you have the anxiety about the future. Is like, I just don't know how life is going to change. Right. And if you get, like, everything that I do is, like, creatively. And, and it requires a lot of eyes. It requires fans and things of that nature. And, and a lot of the time, some type of, some level of celebrity. And I, I've always had this thing about me where it's like, I don't know if I ever wanted to be famous, right. but everything I love to do, nine times requires out of 10, requires you to be, you to be famous. Bit, and, and I've always had this slight fear of success for that very reason. Like, where it's like, I just don't know. I just don't know. I've even, yeah. Um, yeah. But we're coming up on the time. Oh, I do got one more question. We just recently got back into fitness. How has fitness changed you since we've begun or has it i like to stare at my muscles <laughs> <laughs> every day she comes home talking about you see it look my ass you see it you see it? it's this look look and is she pulling up progress photos and stuff look you see it i'm like oh yeah i do see it i'm like like yeah yeah he looks you, now you he seem looks very me. you're very excited about it i am i have one goal my ass is gonna grow Naturally, I ain't gonna pay for this shit. Well, well, we seen the we seen the most fucked up looking fake ass this morning, bro. <laughs> the thigh was, was like the this. thigh was this big, and the ass was like this. Like it, the shit looked, it looked like it like was she, heavy, it bro. It looked like she took two pants and put them on, and they're sliding. It was <laughs> Yo, so sad. They, that shit was but droopy anyway, with so much ass. Anyway, you know, cool. Pay for y'all shit if you want to pay for it. But I also i I'd rather try working for it first. You know, Earn that see shit. See how that goes, you Earn know? Earn that shit. That's that determination. But um, please don't go excessive because that shit, <laughs> you could take Yeah, the, the thigh to ass ratio has to, has to match. That's my biggest thing. If you want to get your ass done full, yo, listen, do what you got to do. More power to you. Do what you got to do. But please make it make sense yeah. while you're doing it. Yeah, the, the math got a math. This with this don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a P. It don't make sense. <laughs> like, all right, man, we're we're at the time. Yeah, fitness we're, and brings is bringing me joy. It's yeah. making me take out my anger and frustration, you know, into that again. And, do you recommend um, it for people? I do, I do. I missed it so very freaking much. So, so um, get out there and find something you like to do and, and go do that shit. Just do, do it. it and exercise. That's gonna be Enjoy the name the of this pain. one. Is we're we're gonna call this episode just do it. <laughs> no, no, no Nike. <laughs> No Nike. Um, That's my disclaimer. Is there anything you want to leave the people with? Just do it. No, just do it. <laughs> um, no for fine. real though, just get up and go do it. Like push yourself to do what it is that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, talk. Push to the yourself to go do what it is that you want and something that brings you joy, regardless of everybody around you that is wishing failure and is giving you just negativity. Because at the end of the day. The only person that needs to give a shit is yourself because it's for you. Whoop, whoop. Just be great. Simple. Talk that shit. Is there any, do you, um, uh, give them some links where they can find you. Um, they don't find me. 
Give, give him the fucking the daycare Find me on Eric's website. page. No. I don't follow her, remember? No. <laughs> Eric, the host, don't follow me. Because he's, yo, he's a new somebody. Listen, when you meet Eric, the host, you're going to see a whole totally different person. I don't even about? get the wife appreciation as Listen, Eric, the host. The, the last session I went to, Stafa pulled up, and I'm sitting here with the microphone in my hand rapping. He's like, what the fuck do you think? We're on the podcast or something? I said, bro, this is who I am all the time. I'm the same person everywhere I go. I don't know what you're talking about. I might get a little bit more funny in certain spaces, but he it might got, be easier to be funny Eric in that got space. like four personalities. Whatever. Um, you don't want to give them the links to get in contact. Matter of fact, don't contact my wife. All right. I'm going to let y'all know. Go to karma <laughs> D underscore J D E I R. She don't even know her fucking tag. I don't, but yeah, just right. look up my name. And then Miles and Smiles, we are a family. Just yeah, go, go, go follow the daycare. the daycare page. See what the fuck we're up to. Um, show some love. We gotta update Go that. follow uh, just... follow AFK Allentown on Instagram. Follow Dope Individuals if you only. You want to play footsies? At least I'm take sorry. your shoes off. Uh, come on. Dope, uh, Dope Individuals <laughs> Pod on Instagram. Follow Valley Click Media on Instagram. The whole team in this bitch. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for coming up here and being my guest today. Give me your hand. Mwah. He's so corny. To, to, to my beautiful wife for, for showing love and supporting. I'm the shit. Um, and thank you guys Say for... It. What? Yeah. I'm the shit. The She's shit. the poop stain. <laughs> hey, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you're still amongst the stars. Peace. I've been on my grind just to live it out. Say what's on your mind just to hear it loud. Everybody knows me. Really, that's the old me. Going through some changes right here and now. I've been on my grind just to live it out. Say what's on your mind just to hear it loud Everybody knows me, really that's the old me Going through some changes